Why is it always some rich people shit to have somebody do something tedious and inefficient? Like, just because that took forever means it's cooler? Today, we're gonna be looking at probably the dumbest house we've looked at yet. This is a 41,000 square foot Spanish style mega mansion. I mean, way to just take over the whole space. Making this guy's house look like a damn apartment. And that house is huge. All the rich spoiled kids that live there point and ask, what the hell do they do, dad? I mean, this is just kind of absurd. Why the hell do you need 14 pool chairs? 14? I can't help but notice that he's in socks. Oh my God, that door is so heavy. This is like straight iron. It's probably like rocket proof. Looks like you might need a cherry picker to get up there and put your wreath on every Christmas. But on the upside, moving furniture in and out sure would be easy. We have 41,000 square feet. This is a Spanish style mega mansion in the hills of Bel Air. Actually, it totally blends in because all the other things stand out around it. And that actually looks like it's supposed to be there. Fucking pretty cool, dude. And so what we've got here is we've got four floors. This house is huge, like massive. This floor, where we are right now, this is your living floor. Just to open all of the doors, to turn everything on, that's gotta take an hour. Picked from the quarry in Italy and brought over here specifically because they wanted this specific book match design to be right here to line up on the dead center line of that archway that lines up perfectly with that arch window. <laughs> How bougie. That is just too specific. Welcome to the living room which you kind of saw before, but it's pretty big. I think there's just a nice informality with those, with them socks. They really help the vibe. I love that the house is so big. Like you could have 52 dining rooms here, but you've got an amazing centerpiece dining set here. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I love these, wait, are these gonna work? work? Nope, this is art. You have the same family stone between the interior. So it allowed me to slip and slide as I came in. I would do that all the time if I was in this house. And now a little bit rougher because that's what you want on the outside. And then you also have the center cut drain. So as the water comes in, and if it, when it rains in LA, the water's not gonna come in and then drain out onto the pool deck below onto that stone. It's gonna come, come into the center line and it's gonna be fed out through the storm pipes. You wouldn't even think all that stuff was happening with the floor. You're just like, oh, sweet floor. Nice. <laughs> But I, it's very, I appreciate that he has all that knowledge to be able to, to spit. Really, really cool overhead lighting. You've got lots of security too. Let me just point that out. This house is a fortress. Even the front gate as we were trying to come in, like it is, it is massive, the real deal. So you have security cameras on every point and everything is connected directly to your phone. Yeah, and if you guys have watched the last ones, I, I point that out in every single house. And usually they just have like a basic alarm and that's it. And it's like, okay, way to protect your multi-million dollar estate amazing like these doors but these are so simple i mean they're literally i could so i've got one finger i'm just pushing this whole thing with one finger i'm sure it's easy but you gotta realize you gotta do that one two seven eight times oh plus upstairs if you want it, those ones open too so yeah like i said probably took forever probably took an hour just to just to open everything Massive and again is like that resort with one of your other major Samsung screens. Between the indoor and the outdoor, like this is a single piece of wood. This is like single slab wood. So you've got your indoor dining, you've got your indoor kitchen, and you've got an amazing amount of indoor outdoor living with incredible views. I just don't get why it's so furnished. Like, do all millionaires just have like 100 wives and, and 500 kids? This is awesome because you've got an additional indoor space upstairs, which we'll get to, but then it also gives you some respite from the burning sun. And so you can sit here and actually enjoy the outdoor space without, you know, melanoma. He's always got some interesting shit to say. I feel like everyone says like the most basic stuff, like, oh, you got a bed here, you got a bathroom here. And it's like, yeah, I can see that. But he's always pointing out something that you can't actually see. Back inside, this is this house's version of an eat-in kitchen. Gas fireplace. Oh. That's like a 20-foot island. What the? F why? That's awesome. But I just want to be there. You got two of everything, right? Two refrigerators, two dishwashers. You get two major sinks. You even have two kitchens in this house. The craziest thing is just the height. And I mean, that's four floors of the same height. I haven't even been in enough rooms that big to know what that normally feels like. Don't know how anyone could have that much space and know what to do with it. This is actually petrified wood. 
petrified wood that is 300 million years old. I mean, that just sounds unnecessary. Some 300 million. How does it, how would you even, I don't even believe that. And then there's no hardware so that it's really, really, really clean. Went to Ikea one day, blew his mind in the cabinet section, just like I did. I mean, same here. I mean, that's how you do it. I'm trying to slam some drawers and not have it be loud. That just make you feel cool. I don't care who you are. It's like a wine dispensary. Ooh. This house is great for entertaining. Let me just say that. So it's like a soda machine, but for wine. I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, probably expensive to, to stock. It just seems really d unnecessary. Like, just go buy wine. You're going to have to buy the wine anyway. Let's go to the chef's kitchen. Let's go to the prep kitchen because it's right here. How bougie. I mean, I've always wanted to have options in my kitchen, especially in my giant drug compound. You know how many pancakes you could make here? I really actually love the stone countertop that's here. It's... It looks like a cow. It looks like a, a cow marble or a cow stone. More and more and more, and then right down these steps, the chef, because in a house like this, you probably have a live-in chef, they have their own suite. Bedroom, bathroom, and amazing closet space. Wow. The bedroom actually for the chef is bigger than most apartments that you'll ever see in New York City. I don't know if I have to do anything illegal to get there, but let me get that job. I'll, I'll drop whatever I'm doing. You got it. I don't know how to cook. It'll be a mess, but you got, I'm there. Remember, we're still only on the first floor. And actually, before I get to this room, just look at this floor. This is all hand laid, individual. Why is it always some rich people shit to have somebody do something tedious and inefficient with stuff? Like hand laid flooring? Like just because that took forever means it's cooler? Maybe someone can explain that to me, but I don't, I don't personally get it. Octagons. I can't even focus on what he's talking about. I have no idea. I'm just looking at that thing in the background. Man, is that distracting. It'd be like, I'm with my jellyfish. I'm with the fish. You'd have to scream all the time to be able to hear anybody in that place. I don't think I have the lung capacity to live there. I might need a doctor's approval. Like I said before, there are eight bars in this house. So everyone who has a big house is an alcoholic. That's what I'm... Every house tour we've seen, there's like 50 bars in every house. I don't understand. Can you not just put alcohol on top of the fridge? That's what I do. That's the bar. Two sinks, one that has the insincorator. Hey, I have an insincorator. Apartment style, you know, you know? Multiple different places to serve from. Like, this is a full-on tap house. I mean, that's great, but, I mean, does that not take somebody to refill that? And glass is something that we can connect to on a human level because it allows us to be transported somewhere else, right? I'm sorry. I think he totally lost me. Apparently, glass makes you trip some balls. Commercial elevator, by the way. Every time. I don't understand the elevator thing. I think I think literally everyone has had an elevator except freaking Demi Lovato's home, which was was pretty ugly in itself. But that's just another huge expense. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter if you're just like printing money like this guy. The last thing you want to be is stuck in your own elevator in your own home without anybody to be able to get to you. That's a little too much planning and calling people to come fix the elevator for me. Humongous. <laughs> like there is so much to show. There's so much to talk about. It feels very much like a, a hotel room. Like probably a really nice one, but it's still a hotel room, you know? Pretty masculine bathroom. This would be mine, right? So his and hers, you can obviously do whatever you want, but come over here. Not only do you have the flat screen TV, but you also have a urinal. <laughs> and so you know that this was built out for a man. That is pretty weird. I mean, that's not even, that's not even bougie. That's just, that's just kind of weird. Maybe that's just some next level stuff that I never thought of. I wish YouTube could invent a way to feel things and not just emotionally, because I know you're emotionally invested in my life and in the properties that we talk about, but like, so that you could actually get that feeling. Can you hear it though? Like, he really just loses me some parts. I mean, he goes a little too deep on whatever he's talking about, I think. And then her bathroom, amazingly massive. See that whole thing being lined. Burke and Burke and Kelly, Kelly, Burke and Burke and Kelly, Kelly. That's really what this is for. Maybe I need to learn a little something about bags. I feel like this one specifically gives me very much like horror movie vibes. Like I'm gonna get murdered in here, but that could just me being super weird. I don't know. Look at the circular pattern of the wood, all perfectly measured, gorgeous French doors that open up into your little Juliet balcony. And then you've got this covered outdoor space. I get really uh, cult meeting vibes from this one. Feels like we're supposed to all be in the same uniform. About to drink some Kool-Aid or something. Glass of red wine out here. This is also a great place where you can also just leave the doors open at night. That's pretty sweet. You can save on some AC as well. 
go the natural route. Nothing like a little fresh air hitting them cheeks in the morning. And you can see too, look at this detail. In the bathroom, you couldn't see it because that beautiful tub was right above it. But like, look how calculated this has to be. So that all these individual pieces. Unfortunately, I don't think a lot of people have the same capacity to even appreciate that level of detail. But again, I'm really glad he points stuff out like that. I mean, there's definitely some parts where he loses me, but there's parts where it's like, okay, that's a lot better job than a couple of other people I've seen. Now we're not gonna go into every single bedroom because otherwise there's two or, hello? Whoa, do you hear the echo? But there's an amazing suite here you have to see. This is an entire secondary primary suite. Pretty spot on to call it a suite, being just being able to walk to the second part of the room. I mean, I like that a lot. And I mean, this is all you need in the upper floor of a house, not all the rest, but I don't know who's living like that. I don't know what you could be doing, how many kids you got, what kind of family, I don't know. But it's got this massive, like, massive dressing area. And then look at this, this closet is so big. You've got all the drawers, and it's beautiful too. It's all it's real natural wood. I mean, this is... That's a closet I actually like. I see a lot of the closets and I'm like, I can't even, I wouldn't even be able to fill that or put anything there, but... This one makes me want to put stuff. This might be where I, I mean, the parties you could have here, the life you could have here, the events you could have here. What about the job you have to have there? I mean. Right now I'm just wearing socks because we're not allowed to wear shoes in the house, so help us God. But my feet, when I. Oh, I'm glad he finally shed some light on why he's wearing just socks. It sounded pretty intense for some reason. I first stepped out here, I was like, oh, oh, it's wet. My feet are wet. And I was like, oh no, wait, no, it's no wetness out here. It's not water. My feet are cold even though the sun is so strong and it's hot out here because the stone doesn't absorb the heat and make your feet hot. Like, look, first of all, like if you come over here, you can see. What a spot to grill. Even better, what a spot to grill naked. If you're not, if you're living here and not doing, I don't know what you, I don't know what you're doing. That one's coming down. That one's going through some issues with this house. Perfect. <laughs> Trashing on the neighbors a bit there. We're only like, halfway done with this house tour. That is crazy, this is this is pretty long. It's pretty insane how ridiculous this house is. There's gotta be 40 refrigerators in this house between full size and small refrigerators. And I cannot even keep one stocked or, you know, reasonably kept. I am definitely not a person that is ready for a house like that with, with that meant. I'm not ready for the refrigerators alone. This house is actually the largest house in the world to have circadian rhythm lighting. So the lighting will change based on the day. So I figured out you could do that on your computer and that kind of blew my mind and changed my life. So if I could do that with my entire home, that'd be pretty sweet. This is carved as if it was carved out of the earth. I know exactly what that's like because I remember going to Adventure Dome and they had rocks that were textured like that and I would basically walk and put my hand on them the whole time because it was nice. So if I could do that in my house and was bougie enough and it wouldn't matter, I would do the same thing. And then, I don't know if you could see. Ooh. There's a door here through this stone wall. Is it just storage back here? That is pretty cool. I would, I would, enjoy, I would do much more than storage back there, but that is all. Awesome. And then a gorgeous bathroom with tons of stone. Just look at the tone here too. Like every room has amazing tonality. I definitely need me a shower that's like a mile long like that so I can freaking do some laps while I'm taking a shower. The amount of freedom you have there, that's just, that's fantastic. It almost seems like it's not meant for just one person to be in the shower at that time. Now I'm just gonna pontificate here and say that if you're having a party and you're out there you're having a drink or two, you got the pool, everyone's having a great time, you got this bedroom right here, I think everyone comes in here and rinses off. I was thinking the same thing. On same same wavelength. 36 person, high tech, 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 movie theater. Thank you. That remember the smart house that we looked at that had the the movie theater? Oh my god. No, that was not a movie theater. This thank you. Thank you. You've got the situation back here. I like I looked, I mean, you don't have to come back here, but this is a full-on bar. Full-on bar that's got this kind of intergalactic really cool. Our basketball court. Bum, 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 bum. Your 20-person garage. That is actually fantastic. I think that's that's the 
coolest thing in this whole house. You can insane. This house is underpriced. I honestly believe that. Yeah, if I mean thinking about it now, I've watched this whole thing. Seventy-eight million. That's not for this. That's not that bad. I mean, for the last house you'll ever need to buy, and it has everything you need in it, so you don't ever have to leave ever. I'll, I'll do seventy-eight million. Peloton it up. Do whatever you want in here. It's rubber. It is soundproof. Again, the last one we did, the smart home with the with the gym. Oh my god! Versus this one, oh, it's not even a question. This is a gym. That one is a sad, pathetic excuse of a gym. Wine cellar. That's true. Same thing again with the last one. Terrible wine cellar. Pathetic excuse of a wine cellar. Real wine cellar. Thank you. Yeah. So that's insane. That's ridiculous.